Okay, what's up, y'all? We are back with another video, and today we will be looking at the longest weighted figure right now. It is the Mapex Miles Morales Spider Man into the Spidey Verse. <laughs> Right now, Miles is looking so nice and detailed. Like, let me lift them up real quick. Look at his afro. Like, I don't see any other kind of brand or product that looks makes scopes the afro so nice. And look at that hairline. What? That is the stuff. His chest is sculpted, nice, detailed. Legs, the shoes. But I know I don't see no logo. So that is something else. The hands. And I know y'all might hear my door shaking because it's closed, so probably that's why. Let me see if I can focus. There it is. The eyebrows, I just noticed that the eyebrows are look so nice. Oh, without further ado, let's get into articulation. Alrighty, and Miles has a lot of articulation. I noticed that he was like the best Spider-Man figure you can get. Like, I'm gonna take him off the stand real quick. Okay, so Miles' arms can go all the way 360, but this is the thing with the jacket, it kind of is hard to get that motion of the 360 movement, so you might have to take it off. And I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I got his jacket off. Let me show you the mo the 360 movement with his arms. Probably I should take it to the side right here. So, take it right here. Right there. Let me take it to the camera. Right there. Try to change it to the side. You can see. So there's that. And that goes for the same thing with the other arm. Alright, it does go all the way back like this. No, well, not all the way back where you can, like, right here. It goes pretty far back, basically. And also give him, like, a little Naruto and a little look. Legs do come up around. Well, you know, when I do that, it his body, upper body do unpeg. So I will have to get this, take the pants off to give him like a little high jump. But with the shorts, it does, he does get like a little high jump. So that is pretty nice. He can look up this much with no problems. He can look down this much. You won't see the back of his peg or anything. That's what I like about this figure. Because, you know, with other figures, you can really, like, see the neck peg and everything when you bend their head down and everything. Alrighty. Now let's get into size comparison. Alrighty, here you go. He is compared to the variable action heroes, Monkey D. Luffy. And the Figma Aaron. And probably let me compare him to... The SH figure arts Goku. And this is the Dragon Star's head. I did not get the base from Goku. So I, and I got the Super Saiyan Blue one. So he is compared to him. And he do compare great with these figures. So I will recommend them if you want to put them in any action poses. Alrighty, and Miles does come with. Let me show you right here. Come with a half unmasked face. As you can see right here, like an eyes open face. 
Let me pull that out. Right here, um, eyes open face. And that face did come with an interchangeable neck peg. And right here, he does come with an eye squinted face, like a more serious kind of. Comes with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 different kind of hands. And two of them are magnetic. Come with two different regular Spider-Man feet. Um, move this right here. Like a kind of mask. His mask, basically. But it's not like all the way up like a regular size mask. It's more like when it's folded. Come with a little peg. It comes with a little peg hole right here. For when he can put his hand in it. One of them do have a peg. It's one of these right here. I'm going to have to figure out. He does come with some magnet shoes. Basically the same as the one, these ones. You can take them off. And I guess you can kind of count his his sweater and his shorts as accessories too. Alrighty, and let's get in with some action poses. <laughs> 